Hello guys! Welcome back! If this is your first time in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Today, we will study congruent triangles. But before we start, let us first study or review the parts of a triangle. A triangle is a polygon. It has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. Let us begin. When do we say that the two triangles are congruent? Two triangles are congruent whenever their vertices match and their corresponding angles and sides are congruent. Uh, let us have here an example. Here are two triangles. Triangle BAC and triangle XYZ. Let us put tick marks for congruent sides and arch for congruent angles. Angle A is congruent with angle Y. Let us use a single arc for A and same is true with angle Y. Meaning, these two angles are congruent. Angle A and angle Y. Now, angle B is congruent with angle X. Let us put two arcs each angle. And finally, the third angle, angle C, is congruent with angle Z. Let us put three arcs. One, two, and three for angle C. And one, two, three arcs for angle Z. Now, how about its sides? In this triangle, Segment or line segment AB is congruent with line segment YX. Let us use a tick mark, single tick mark for segment AB and single tick mark for line segment YX. And for segment BC, this segment is congruent with segment X. Z. Let us use two tick marks. And finally, in this triangle, line segment AC is congruent with line segment YZ. Let us put three tick marks for AC and three tick marks for segment YZ. Now, let us find out their corresponding angles and their corresponding sides. Dito muna tayo sa mga angles. Angle A. Angle A corresponds with angle Y. And angle B, angle B corresponds with angle X. And finally, angle C corresponds with angle Z. Let us now find out the corresponding sides in these two triangles. O, unahin natin dito sa unang triangle. This triangle has line segment AB. Let us use bar to represent AB for line segment AB. Line segment AB corresponds with line segment YX. Next is line segment BC. Line segment BC Line segment BC corresponds with line segment XZ. Finally, line segment AC 
corresponds with line segment Y, Z. Then, these two triangles have three congruent angles and three congruent sides. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent. The congruent symbol is flashed on your screen. The symbol is made up of two parts. The symbol above the equal sign denotes that the two figures have similar shape, while the equal sign means that the figures have the same size. Let us have exercises. Here are two triangles. Triangle BAC and triangle DEF. Determine their corresponding angles and corresponding sides. Alright. Ito na siya. Here are the two triangles presented to you earlier. We will now determine their corresponding sides and corresponding angles. Ngayon, yung triangle na nasa ibaba, babalik na ko para makita natin na congruent talaga yung dalawang triangles. Ayan ano, pagpatungin natin. Ngayon, equal na equal na siya, congruent. Tingnan natin sila ngayong dalawa. Let us examine carefully. Look at angle A. This is angle A and angle A corresponds with angle A. D, meaning angles A and D are congruent. The other angle, angle B, this one. Angle B is congruent with angle E. And finally, angle C is congruent with angle F. Meaning, C corresponds with F. Angle A corresponds with angle D. B corresponds with angle E. Let us now determine their sides. This one, line segment AC corresponds with line segment DF. Line segment BC corresponds with line segment EF. And line segment DE corresponds with line segment AB. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent. Alright, I hope that congruent triangles are loud and clear. Hanggang sa mudito, maraming maraming salamat. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!